So season three of Heart of Dixie, obviously we've seen um, a lot of changes come through the town of Bluebell. Yes. What's the biggest change that brings the biggest challenge for Levon? Well, I mean, it's actually two, I think. I mean, uh, one is my cousin being here mm -hmm. and um, trying to almost kind of parent her, but she's an adult and uh, a little relationship is starting to, to brew up. So she, she adds a definite wrinkle. And then uh, the other one is, is uh, the character uh, Joel coming in mm -hmm. um, because he completely, he takes my best friend away, basically. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, yeah, and, and the, just the added crowd in the house as I'm trying to like cultivate a, a normal relationship for the first time ever mm -hmm. and I got people coming in and out so well speaking yeah. of Lindley I mean we the audience at the end of the premiere saw the moment with with Scott's with uh, Scott's character but yeah. obviously Levon doesn't know yet yes. how long can that be kept a secret what happens when he finds out I mean uh, he knows George is a good guy yeah yeah I mean you know we'd be surprised how long we can keep a secret around here <laughs> such a small town right um, so you know we keep it for a while and I think um, yeah he knows that George is a good guy but I think the biggest problem is that he also knows that George is is suffering from a broken heart mm -hmm. she's also suffering from a broken heart and you know you want people to have that time he doesn't want his cousin to be a rebound okay and so I think that's the main thing that that, that uh, worries him. are we worried though that maybe George is the rebound for Lindley uh, I, it, I think both but I think my concern is just her right. so okay. is that that he's not ready for a relationship and she's just gonna get tossed away okay and how is your relationship with Annabeth like going forward in the season are you still strong yeah, and what's great about the season is that we've we've uh, already, and I hope we, we tackle some more. We've already had some of those like real relationship issues. You know, it's like I, uh, the first season I was a secret romance, mm -hmm. and the second season was just like kind of fast and furious <laughs> relationships. And so this is cool to explore, like being in a relationship, mm -hmm. having those those issues, of parents coming to town, having those issues of like commitment, not mm -hmm. commitment, and and so we get to really explore those things. Okay, yeah. and the first episode we also saw the how much the town was being sued. So what are the challenges for Levant as mayor this season? Are we seeing a lot more of outside forces? We are. We're getting into, we, we're going to, we expand upon, you know, the rivalry between uh, Bluebell and Fillmore mm -hmm. and me and Mayor Ganey. And that just escalates, which also I enjoy. We get away from so much relationship stuff and get into, uh, you know, town business and, and mayor stuff and, and actually the next episode we start tomorrow which I can't talk <laughs> about has like an actual serious um, mm -hmm. issue with it that's all about the town and what's also cool is that it doesn't I don't even know how it's going to work itself out because it doesn't get resolved okay. in one episode so it's it's um it's fun okay yeah. now we see today obviously we're at a harvest festival yeah. can you tell me a little <laughs> bit about what what's going on other than the harvest festival in this episode well um you know Bluebell's notorious for, for festivals, so we're having this Harvest Festival, which I guess is kind of, well, no, we've already passed Halloween, but oh. in, in the festival, we uh, we have uh, Daniel Bradbury, mm -hmm. um, I know you may know her from The, from the Voice, um, performance, that's our big, like, hook, our big boom. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she's coming in as herself. Do you yes. guys have any other big cameo guest stars this season? Um, as far as themselves, we always have uh, Oh, not necessarily artists. as themselves, oh. just in general, like, guest stars you're excited for. Um... Well, I love we have, what I love is that we have a great pool of character actors, mm -hmm. older character actors who come in and play parents, mm -hmm. and uh, just people of the town who are just you look at them and you're like, wow, you've worked forever, and they come in and fit right, fit right in. Mm -hmm. So I, we just have a great, great guest cast. Okay. Now you mentioned Joel coming in and taking your best friend away. Yeah. Do we? What is Levon's look? His relationships with the guys look like this season? I mean, I, like Joel comes in and theoretically could fit into the group but you're it seems like you're saying that's not necessarily the case well when he first comes in um we realize uh, that we don't actually like each other so we have to get over that hurdle and it takes us a while to get over that to fight because we have nothing in common mm -hmm. you know I'm a southern football player mm -hmm. and he's a new york writer and so and i think uh i don't know that didn't come up in the first in the first episode yet but anyway you discover that we're not fans of each other mm -hmm. and so that obviously like creates a bit of a wedge but I mean like anything else we do we get over that eventually. is is there a little bit of a like side drawn because Wade still has feelings for Zoe and you're so close with Wade um not so so much of that it's just really um uh Zoe really wanting us to all be friends and mm. she's in, and she kind of overdoes it in the fact that she remembers being and coming to town as a New Yorker and how long it took 
for the town to like her. So mm -hmm. she brings him in and she wants the town to like him right away. And okay. a lot of people don't. So. Okay. And I mean, Lemon seems kind of on the outside this season in the sense that Levon, you know, he isn't focused on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does, is he aware of her relationship? Are they sharing scenes together? Are we getting a sense of their connection? Um, I think for the first time that we're, uh, we are finally, I think we put our past behind us and mm -hmm. are just really becoming uh, normal friends again. Okay. And so um, I'm more in, in, invested in her as a friend. And, and I think she's in this, in this place as a character that's trying to figure out what's the next chapter of mm -hmm. her life. And, um, and so, you know, kind of from afar, I'm, I'm invested in that. But, but the, I think our sparks have, at least, you know, you never know. Okay. But I think for now are, are dead and gone. Okay. Yeah. It's a little depressing. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, like I said, you never know. Well, you've played the character for a couple seasons now. Yeah. Is there anything that still surprises you about the things that either you get to do or the things that you're learning about him as you go on? Hmm. Um, I guess, well, not so much surprising. What's more what I really enjoy is that, you know, we, we uh, just at the moment when we've, we've kind of gone this silly, silly route, and then all of a sudden we get an episode or you get a scene that actually has some some drama to it. Mm -hmm. And I always love that, that you know, that moment that there's never, um, that we get to do both sides of it. Mm -hmm. And um, it's great to be, uh, I love being silly and, and we have a really loose set, but then all of a sudden to like watch the set change when you have to do something serious mm -hmm. is fun. But now that he is in a relationship, do you feel like we may start to see different quirks or personality traits come out that maybe Annabeth brings out in him? Or maybe, you know, he was... Yeah. Well, I think that what, what's great with Annabeth is that, that she's a bit... She's quirky. Mm. And so she brings out... Like, I feel like with LeVon, he's allowed to be quirky, allowed to, like, embrace that kind of childish side mm -hmm. um, a lot more with her. So it was fun. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much.